Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap and I'm here at Acer's booth at EFO 2018. They've got loads of cool tech. They've just announced the even smaller Swift 7. And finally, I've got hands on with the world's lightest 15.6 inch laptop, the new Acer Swift 5, which they can just get away with saying it's under a kilogram, 0.99 kilograms. This is a full 15.6 inch laptop, weighs less than a kilogram. I'm holding it like it's nothing. Honestly, picking this up, it feels like the battery's missing or something. It is ridiculously light. Put this in your backpack, you're not gonna feel it. I have to say, I do actually prefer the Swift 5 over the super, super thin Swift 7, just because you get more power, better ports, a bigger screen. It's just more usable. It's less compromised to get that super, super thinness on the Swift 7. But of course, this, as I say, does hold the title of the world's lightest 15-inch laptop, under a kilogram. So that's going up against the likes of the LG Gram. Now, before I run you through the laptop, the first thing I noticed is it does have a bit of screen wobble, as you can see, which could get a little bit frustrating if you're on a train or a car and it's bouncing around, but I guess that's not the end of the world. Now, in terms of style and design, it is very, very similar to last year's Swift 5. We've got this nice slate blue color with I think it's copper sort of colors on the keys. It is a really, really beautiful laptop. Now the material is a fancy kind of magnesium alloy combination of things. It does come across a little plasticky. It's not quite as premium feeling as metal, but also maybe that's just because unlike most laptops, it doesn't feel dense or heavy. And so that I guess could come across as feeling cheap. And because it's a little bit thicker than say the Swift 7, you do get a much better range of ports, including two USB 3s, full-size HDMI, the power, a USB-C, and on the other side, let's have a look, we have a headphone jack and a full-size SD card reader. So as someone who makes videos for a living, having a full-size SD is really useful. I can pop out my uh, card from my camera, put it in here, and then on this nice big 15-inch screen, I can start editing my videos. Now this is a full HD screen, it's not a fancy 4K one, but hopefully that could keep the cost down and also, of course, improve battery life considerably. And as it says right there, the bezel around the screen is super, super thin, 5.87 millimeters. And actually they have still found room for the webcam at the top, which is really nice to see. Unlike the Dell XPS laptops or even the Swift 7, which have had to put the webcam at the bottom, it's nice to see it is at the top. The screen itself is a 15.6 inch full HD IPS touchscreen. I do like that it's a touchscreen, but then you do see that uh, shaky. Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> I've launched some horrible bloatware game. But yeah, you can see using it as a touchscreen is um, not ideal when it wobbles that much. Acer, please fix this. The chiclet keyboard actually feels pretty good. There's a nice amount of travel, nice little clicky responsiveness to it. I like it. And we also get a fingerprint reader on the palm rest. In this particular model, I've got the Intel 8th Gen i5-8265U, along with eight gigs of RAM and a 256 gig SSD. So how much is this gonna be and when can we get our hands on them? Well, Acer tell me this will come out in around November time and start from around 1100 euros, I believe for the i5 model and then go up if you want the i7. Now that is more expensive than the current 14 inch Swift 5, which I think is 800 euros or maybe it's 900 euros. Check the text below to, as I'll confirm it. So yeah, a little bit of a price increase, but considering we are getting an eighth gen processor, a bigger screen and it is still just insanely light then. It's not too bad actually. And again, if you can try this for yourself, pick it up in a shop. It's just ridiculously light. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll be here at IFA all week, and I'll see you next time right here on The Tech Chat.